Hi, my name is Tracy Stewart and I'm the Economic Self-Sufficiency Project Coordinator for the Colorado Center on Law and Policy. And in that role, it's my du duty to monitor the economic health of Colorado families. Um, today I'm here to talk about poverty in Colorado and what it looks like for um, Colorado families as well as families in the nation and around the world. Lots of times uh, people believe that poverty is just a lack of income, but indeed poverty goes further than that and um, becomes a cycle in which many folks um, cannot ex exit without a lot of help. Poverty includes a lack of access to many of the things and um, people that the rest of us have. A lack of access to resources that make a difference, such as financial resources, spiritual resources, networking resources, role models, um, groups of folks that can um, teach you lessons about how to get along in your society, what the hidden rules are of society, resources around language development um, from the time that you're a small child to the time that you are uh, retiring from work. What do you need to know in order to do the next job, the next level of the job? Poverty is also about disparity. It's about inequality amongst folks based on where they fit and uh, the culture in which they live. So in this country and in this state, poverty is also about being a person of color, being a woman, um, facing job uh, and income potential that is far less than your white male counterparts, raising families on your own, and not having the wealth that is inherent in the historical uh, context that other families may have in this country. Across the globe, poverty is about the imbalance between folks who are able to grab, uh, maintain, and control wealth and folks who are acted upon by that wealth. And I think that Colorado is a microcosm of what we are seeing around the globe. And I think that part of that microcosm is a lack of understanding about the full scope of poverty. It is not just about income. It is about a lack of access to all those things that make us whole. Add your voice to ours and learn about the Colorado state budget and the impact that that budget has on you, your family, your community, and the state as a whole. Please um, take some time to think about your role uh, in, uh, in the poverty game. Many of us benefit from folks who are living at a certain level. We have cheaper goods, we have uh, cheaper labor, um, we are able to um, look at another group of people and, and believe that we are better or have done a better job at uh, managing our finances or playing the game well. Those things are things that the rest of us get to benefit from. So I'd like for you to think about your role and what you can do to kind of change the way that we view poverty worldwide. Uh, in Colorado, it's important for us to contact our legislators, especially those legislators serving on the Economic Opportunity Poverty Reduction Task Force and those legislators serving on the Fiscal Stability Reform Task Force. They need to hear from you that you know that the person next to you, but by the grace of God, could be you. And that poverty can be alleviated simply with political will and the will of you and all of your neighbors who know that we're all in this together. You can actually donate to organizations that support changing the message around poverty including the Women's Foundation of Colorado. You can grab a poster from the website of the Women's Foundation of Colorado and create your own photo campaign about what poverty is. Poverty is artificial more than anything. It is about a lack of access, and lack of access in a world that is abundant is artificial.